We're back in my original room. The rainbow wall is back. I told you guys I did not take the rainbow wall down. It still exists. It lives here. And since I'm back at my parents' house for the holidays, I decided I would film a video here. Today, we are going to be trying to solve the mystery once again. I released my Knives Out video probably two years ago, and you guys seem to like it. So I'm back for the second Knives Out movie, Glass Onion. Today's question is if Glass Onion is as good as Knives Out worse or better subject to their approval uh hold on hey oh shit sorry you're Give kidding 2020 you're a whore you're a whore and i don't support you yeah let's go kate hudson kate hudson is the tony collette of this movie and i am so excited for it these are fun I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right, babe? I love my boobs. They're yeah. so much fun. Oops. Sorry, feminists. I love boobs. Sorry, feminists. <laughs> I love her. Love that. <laughs> Clip it. Clip Madeline Klein saying sorry, feminist, for me. Please. Sit up. What would you guys do if you got this box? I simply would just give up, because what am I supposed to do with that? This is literally now you see me, but without magic. So you're telling me that was all in one box? <laughs> um, excuse me? Because in all actuality, like, I hope that puzzle means something later. Like, it has to. Let me try to think of what it means. I don't know, the first one didn't have any puzzles. Don't tell me that... Blanc is playing Among Us? Stop. Steven Sodenheim is in this movie? How'd they get that? Like, Steven Sodenheim playing Among Us with, with Daniel Craig? Like, that's unreal. This movie is already giving a completely different tone than the first one. Because by this point in the first one, Harlem was already like slitting his throat. I do kind of like this change of pace because trying to replicate the first one would have been, you wouldn't have been able to do it. So you might as well just change, change the vibe immediately. Hello. The mask. Hello. She is so Lana Del Slay. She is so Lana Del Slay for that. Go girl. Remember my girl, Whiskey? Hi. OMG, love Whiskey. Love whiskey already. Madeline Klein looks so freaking good. I've never said anything bad about her in my entire life. I've never said anything bad about her show either. Love her and I love everything she does. And I've never said anything bad about Outer Banks either. Oh, icon status. Everyone's gonna think that she's the murderer and she's not gonna be. The murderer is gonna be... It's not going to be Andy. Everyone's going to think it's going to be Andy because she's obviously on the outs. It's not going to be Birdie. I don't think it's going to be Duke. I'm sort of thinking it might be the scientist or Birdie's assistant, Peg. And that's just based off of absolutely nothing. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. Only know that because of Glee. Blackbird fly. That's when the bird died. Uh. Andy. What? You're here. But you sent the invitation. I think he should change his eye color. Actually, I have a suggestion for you. I think you should change your eye color because it's a little bit too much for me. Like, I think you should change it permanently. Fully abbreviate this moment together. Mm -hmm. We're old friends. We're still friends. Like, why is Benoit Blanc there? Someone better actually fucking bite the dust. And it better be as gruesome as the first one. Someone better, like, slice their guts open. And he better solve it. It's not gonna be him that dies. A proper tour of the Glass Onion. Oh! So the island, so his house is called the Glass Onion. And I'm assuming Glass Onion is another reference to a transparent story. It's like an actual huge glass onion. Yep, it's past, present, and future. It's, it's what came before, where I am now, what I'll leave for the world. Okay, so we didn't have the same idea. So I was thinking the title was a reference to a transparent layered story. So you think when you peel back the story, there'll be more layers, but it's just transparent. And I also think that's a reference to the first movie, wherever he has the analogy of the donut. This is a donut with a hole in the middle 
and it seems like we have a perfectly shaped donut to fit that hole but really the hole has another small hole in it so it's just another donut in a donut with still a hole missing an analogy for what the story and the mystery is gonna be this is a glass onion so you think it's this complex layered story but you've known the whole story from the beginning because it was transparent what are you doing here I I'm, I'm, I'm sorry i would be so embarrassed if someone said that to me this is just like the other ones but i didn't send it to you Oh my god, I would literally be mortified. I would kill myself on that island and I would make everyone pay for it. No! He's a big fat liar. He sent that box. He's a fucking liar. He's a liar. He knew about the box. He's a big fat liar. He totally invited Mr. Blanc, but just because he did that whole scene, Mr. Blanc's gonna cross him off of his suspect list. Bruh. Oh my god. I'm... I'm about to act up. I'm literally about to act up right now for Kate Hudson. I'm like actually dying. Like she is so fine. She's so freaking beautiful. I need her to do a sing and dance number right now. Like I need her to sing all that jazz quickly. Maybe I'll lay out for a bit. You guys are putting too many fine women in front of me. I'm about to act up. I'm about to act crazy. Oh God. You really do. Really? Deflection. Don't even consider him a suspect. It's a deflection. It's literally a misdirect. It's not going to be him. Mr. Blanc going into the pool fully clothed is the representation we've needed for many, many years. I want to go into the pool fully clothed. I don't like bathing suits and I think we should ban them for real. Like why do bikinis exist? I would like to ban them. Scuba suits all year round. He said that to me. You're Birdie J on billboards. I can't believe I'm talking to you. It was this little thing in my hand. I preferred that. Are you gonna kill him? So you preferred it when he was a fan of you? So you're gonna kill him? You're gonna murder him? She's back on my suspect list. I'll tell you a little secret. Your worldview's gonna change. Once you hear it, you can't unhear it. Oh my goodness. I love it that Blanc is going into this space and being like the learner. And like being like the new person kind of insecure or not insecure, but like not really understanding what's going on. But I think he's going to flip. Are you going to do it for me? <sighs> motive. I'm going to say motive, but I'm going to say misdirect. I know it's motive, but I think misdirect again. You're not gonna get me with more misdirects, because I already know. That is a vintage Jayhawk brand crossbow. Jayhawk, Birdie J. I love him. He might be completely wrong, but I love him still. He's uncle. Byron Diamond. A dramatic, passionate, and colorful crime for a fashionista, Miss Birdie J. Wait, why is Daniel Craig kind of sexy? This crime clashed with the presence of Benoit Blanc. Why is him solving the crimes kind of sexy? Stop. Leave me alone. I didn't say that. I didn't even suspect that. I think you yeah, don't know. Oh, no, oh my God. First death. Debussia. Good. I was, I was scared it was gonna be Madeline Klein. And the misdirect is that it was Andy because they just had a fight right before, but it's not gonna be Andy. It's been trying to tell me that it's Andy the entire time and it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be her at all. It's protocol. I can see the headlines. Governor jets off to Greece in a pandemic with a men's rights YouTuber who died. Oh my God, that that is really bad. Goes to Greece on a private island party with a men's rights YouTuber? You're sick. You're sick and twisted and you need to be put down. That's embarrassing. That's awful. What if it switches up and it goes bodies, 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 and he actually poisoned himself with like steroids or something? We walk together to the dock. I'll stay up all night with the body, make sure it's not tampered with in any way. <gasps> it was his drink. Someone was trying to kill you, bitch. I hope it's Peggy. I hope Peggy was the one that tried to kill him. Or what if Duke tried to kill him, but then he accidentally killed himself? When was that? 
It's not gonna be Andy. I already know it's a huge misdirect. Uh, Mr. Mr. Braun. Oh my God. Embracing Daniel Craig like that? Stop. Oh my God. I, I take it back about being boring. The lights off and searching for everyone throughout the house is so good. We only need one last piece of information, but only you can. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my fucking God. Are you kidding me? Janelle Monae died that soon. That's criminal. Now they're going to think it's him. Can I bet that there's two killers? An accomplice? Scream vibes? It makes no sense. It all makes perfect sense. Duke, Andy, this weekend, this ridiculous game that started well before we set foot on this island. I, I think it's Miles. Cause even though he's the main target, I don't think it's him. I, I think he's the killer, not the victim. Yeah. Oh my god, his husband is Hugh Grant. Uh Slay. I kind of love that. My name is Helen Brand and I came all the way here from Alabama. What? I'm still like caught up on the fact that Hugh Grant is his husband. Love that. My twin sister committed suicide. In her car. Bruh. With the engine running. Bruh, she did not commit suicide. Someone killed her. That's so good because all of them were so surprised that she was there. They were all so surprised when she showed up. Fuck, this is so good. This is this is good. This is better than I thought it was going to be. I was a hater in the beginning and now I'm a lover. I've gone from hater to lover. One of those shitheads killed my sister. Do you really think we can get the son of a bitch? See, that's why I thought the misdirect at the beginning with Miles. Like, it was like, oh, they're all after him. No, I think it was him the entire time. Yeah. No, literally, Miles. This could blow up the world. The reality distortion field ends here. I can't let you do this. So it's not Miles. But is it going to be like Knives Out where it's like we thought it was Ransom at the beginning and then we're like, no, that's too obvious. I think it has to be Miles. Like, I feel like the twist is going to be like, it's not Miles, but then it's Miles at the end. I feel like it's Miles. Hey. Blanc. Whoa, dude, I did not think it was going to be his ass. I did not think it was going to be him. He was never on my suspect list. No, no. I was wrong. Oh no, guys, I'm losing my touch. It wasn't hit. Oh my God. I never suspected him. <gasps> oh my God. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it right now. Oh no, give me that. Give me that. This will be good. Oh my God. <laughs> And this is crazy. I did not expect this. I did not expect it to be Lionel, and I did not expect her to still be alive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Clear as crystal, right in front of our eyes, all of us, and then told a bald face fabrication. And it worked. Dude, was I right this whole fucking time? Give you that necklace for your birthday. I am obsessed with her. She is queen. She is everything to me. On the envelope. Bro. Oh, holy Kate shit. Kate Hudson's screams are like killing me. Like, why is she doing that? What is reality? I think I need Kate Hudson in a Scream movie. I think she's got it. I think she's a Scream queen. <laughs> oh, she was clever enough not to fear Miles. Well, she didn't see the real threat, the obvious threat until it was too late. Did I predict this, this whole fucking time? I'm a genius. I'm a genius. An allergy. You can't even have a drop. Pineapple juice. He just put pineapple juice in his whiskey. Oh no. It's so dumb. Oh, it's so dumb, it's brilliant. No! 
It's just dumb. It's just dumb. Dude, I fucking knew it was a misdirect from the very fucking beginning. Am I a genius or am I a genius? <gasps> She's gonna put it into the fucking fire. Oh shit. Oh, this is a smokeless garden. Disruption. Let's go, let's go. Fucking amazing. Lovely words. That's fucking crazy. The same ass thing he did to her. Dude. I am like speechless right now. I'm speechless and I'm so proud of myself for being correct. I saw him driving away from Mandy's house the night she was killed. It took them a lot to like become not shitheads. <laughs> it took a lot for them to like not become shitheads. I'm really surprised that like all of them survived. <laughs> That was pretty good. I was fearful because the first like 30 minutes to an hour was a little bit lackluster to me. And then it really picked up and I really enjoyed it. And I'm so proud of myself for getting it right once again. I called that shit from the beginning right when he was like, I didn't send you that box. Even though like it did turn out that he never sent him a box. I was like, this is a complete misdirect. Like you're trying to get me to cross him off the suspect list and I won't do it. And even when Blanc and Helen were talking about suspects, they crossed him off the list. I knew it. Guys, I always think, like I get to a point in these whodunit movies and I think I'm stupid and I think that I've like lost the plot and I'm just like not making any sense. And then I come out on top and I just feel so powerful. This was an epic trend level win i've never been prouder of myself now did i switch up my guests every five seconds yes but my very first guest was freaking miles and i was right this movie was actually really fun i am really excited to watch it again i will say in comparison to the first knives out i do think that it's a little bit more how do i put this into words it's a little bit more layered obviously because it's a freaking onion and not a donut with a hole. I still think I like the first movie better because that one is just like tried and true. Like it's like always going to be iconic. I love the different setting for this one. I loved it that it was more beach vacation vibes. I hope next time it can be like a snow cabin or something or like a hotel resort like mystery or like something like a business mystery. I think that would be really cool if it was like an office place that had a mystery. I think that would be really cool. My favorite thing about Knives Out, the original one, is that how fast it is and how immediate you get into the story. I think this one took a little bit more setup, which uh, depends on if you think that setup is worth the the payoff at the end and i think the beginning could have been shortened down a little bit just a little bit probably by like five to ten minutes could have been cut to just kind of condense it to kind of get you into that action a lot sooner one of the things i love about both movies is the sole female at the center of the story alongside um blanc i think it's one of the best things about it i don't know why it just the fact that it was both two like females centering the story and the fact that it was Helen and it wasn't even Andy it's like this you know small town girl like doesn't live that like rich bitch life like I love that I love it that it's like this like I love it that it's like the underprivileged girl at the center of the story I think it makes it um a lot you know, it makes it a lot easier to relate to and to watch my favorite performances was Kate Hudson and Madeline Klein I just love those types of characters it's like Tony Collette in Knives Out like I just love that like campy out of touch character I think Madeline Klein was so good she was so funny which I was not expecting I don't know why I've never seen her do any comedy work so this was a great it was like a breath of fresh air I loved her I love Kate Hudson Obvi and obviously Daniel Craig like 
you just like it's iconic it's amazing and like I think Benoit Blanc is going to be like one of the staple characters of like cinematic history from like 10 years down the line like it's just going to be like a cult classic character it's just so iconic and I think that Daniel Craig does an amazing job um and I am very excited for there to be a third Knives Out movie I hope there is another one because I eat these mysteries up and obviously I'm very good at solving it um maybe I should be a part of the writing process next time because I was pretty good at solving this one see if you can get a mystery that can get past me I should proofread it for you guys to see if I can solve it yeah let me know what you guys want me to watch next and I will see you guys next year thank you for all the support this year it's been quite a quite a journey Make sure you guys go buy some of my merch that I released this year. Very exciting. And I will see you in 2023. Bye.